Hello and welcome, I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. Today we are continuing our From the Depths campaign playthrough and I did a little more work off screen but uh, we actually just got attacked right before I was about to record or um, right after I finished what I was doing before I was going to set up all my recording I heard my missiles going off so we are being attacked and I decided we should just uh, record from here so yeah I would have done a lot more but actually uh, interestingly enough we ran out of metal almost completely so I guess it's good we're being attacked because we need to go pillage a lot of resources so I can finish uh, plating this thing in metal but I configured my missiles kind of I'm not sure I might have to tweak them a little bit I set them up so one um, there's how many are there I think there's like 10 or something on each uh, each of the front arms and they uh, one arm of missiles is set to prioritize air targets while the other is set to prioritize weapons so it'll just go after other stuff but um, hopefully they don't both go after air targets because we do want to kind of take out those dangerous uh, ships and all but uh yeah, let's take a look at, at, at what's after us. It kind of caught us, caught me by surprise, so I uh, actually have no idea. Huh? What exactly are we attacking now? Um, huh? I have no idea. <laughs> what are they going after? They're just shooting into the nothingness. So I configured these wrong, apparently. In fact, I really don't know what they are shooting at. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of interesting. I'm not really sure what I did. I, I wish they would stop that, though. They're using up all my ammo. Hey. What, what on earth? I, I honestly, <laughs> like, like, seriously, man, stop it. They're not shooting at anything. Stop firing right now. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you're shooting at, but... Can we please not do that? So I'm just, I'm going to get rid of the uh, wireless transmitter right now because, or receiver rather, until I know what the hell they're shooting at. This is a complete waste of ammo, computer. Stop it. Okay, so like, yeah, like you're here. What are, you, what are you doing? Is that what they were trying to go after? I honestly, I honestly have no idea. I really don't. I don't know. I want everything on combat. Um, stop attack. Oh, maybe that's what it's doing. Maybe it was, it already killed stuff and it was trying to attack salvage. I'm really not quite sure. Huh? Why do I have three desolators? That is um, somewhat interesting. Alrighty then. Well, <laughs> I guess before we go actually out and attack stuff, I'd kind of like to figure out what's wrong with this uh, this thing here. Hey, I want to edit you. 
Okay, so I put... I have two fuel tanks. Let me show you. Um, they're kind of small. I might make them bigger. I didn't want them sticking up really far above the deck, though. Uh, so, right now, they're just really simple. A thruster, two tank, fuel tanks, a fin, and fragmentation set to a uh, 22-degree angle, and an IR seeker. On all of them, the only difference is on... Uh, one of these. Which one is it? I think it's this guy. No, it's not that guy. <laughs> it's, uh... Mm, this one. Set value per altitude. I think maybe I need to lower this to, like, 5? I really don't... I don't... know. <laughs> like, I kind of know how the thing works, but I've never actually, uh played much with the altitude setting. I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. And I am kind of interested in why are there three desolators selected here. That's a little bit... Oh, right, this is my AI... Duh. Derp. This is my AI map. That's why, because I have three different AIs on this ship for three different weapons. That's why. Okay, so... If I turn all of them on, I guess? Maybe that was part of the problem. I'm not really sure. Oh, hey, whoa, whoa, uh-uh, no, 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 forward, forward, don't get... <laughs> oh, dang. I'm glad I noticed that. We were about to get beached, and in fact, uh, glitch much game? You can, like, see, like, there's no water, like, right here. Apparently. Okay, then. That's not really what I wanted. Okay, well, maybe it will fix it. <laughs> fix it if we just take everything out of play. And uh, let's go somewhere. What is this? Okay, that's the fortress. Boom. Let's go hit... Let's go hit this right here. Let's go... That away. I never did add my uh, wireless receiver back on, so I need to remember to do that. So my missiles, I can test them out again. That used even more of my metal. As you can see, we have like none left. Uh, part of that is because I uh, I used light metal alloy up around the command deck, like you saw in the reason I did that is because it obviously weighs less than wood, and metal weighs like four times as much as wood. And up on that command deck and by the turret, that's obviously higher than the rest of the ship, and I didn't want the thing to be top-heavy. Like, that's that's the uh, that's the last thing I want to happen, is it for it to be top-heavy. Um, really not quite sure what you're doing here, guys. That's not AI controlled, so there's absolutely no reason to bring that in. Um, wireless receiver. So this looks like it's really glitched out or something. Like, it's, like, floating. What in the hell? Okay, so some of these are shooting at nothing. Some are hitting that. I'm really a little concerned about what's happening right now. Why is my ship falling over? I don't understand. This thing is like broken. Come on now. What in the hell is happening right now? Is the back of it that much heavier? It was working like before I started recording. What have I done? And where are you going?
Oh, Jesus. Okay. Stop shooting. I don't know what the hell is wrong with these things. I will have to look at that. Like, really? Um, why are you still shooting when you have no mainframe connection? And why is this floating? Like, really? Come on. What on earth is making it do this? Am I just, like, stupid and missing something? On the bright side, we did take a ton of stuff out. Stop it! No! Hey! Uh-uh! I don't know. I don't get it. What? Why is it doing this? Maybe someone can explain why this is happening? I'd really like to know. And now it's underwater. Okie dokie. Uh. So if I spawn it in again, am I going to like... Okay, yeah, I'm underwater. That's not a surprise, but... But really, what is... See, like this, right here? It's like there's no water. It's just like gone right now <laughs> so I'm going to cut the video for a second and restart my game and I'll be back with you guys in a minute I do not know what is happening right now at all this wasn't happening before I mean you guys watched the videos this certainly was not happening at least now it's not like driving itself sideways <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back. And, uh, yeah, so I messed around a little bit. I restarted my game. Apparently this glitch is still here, um, where there's, like, a gap in the water, apparently. And, uh, I messed around with my missiles, and I, maybe I'm just being stupid. I can't figure out what their problem is. I honestly, I can't. I don't know why they just launch straight into the air even when enemies are there. Um, they just, they won't, they won't go after anything. They just launch straight into the air. I don't know, uh, if I set my AIs up wrong. Like, I even set the, um, whatchamathings. Well, I probably don't even need that, but, like, I tried taking that off, the aim point selection, and it didn't help. I tried setting my, um, target prioritization all the way uh, to just setting them both to default um, I try I don't know I don't know what's wrong so if uh, someone can maybe point out what I'm uh, being stupid about and uh, I can fix it for next episode that'd be great but for now I'm just gonna leave them disconnected because I don't I don't know what the problem is but for now we're just gonna go uh, we're gonna head this way. We'll just use our cannon, which I think should be more than sufficient anyway. But, yeah. That's really quite annoying. Like, I've never had that problem with missiles, ever. The entire time i played this game, I've never had that problem. And I don't... And I've never had that glitchy water thing either, so I really don't know what the deal is, but... Um... It could just be one of those really obvious things that I'm missing... But, maybe not. I don't know. Like, I think I set up everything correctly. I guess, uh, I'm sure somebody will know what the problem is and point it out. Because I'm obviously uh, not getting something. But, we'll go take out... Oh, we're going to collide with these guys, too. Oh, wait, no, they came from there. Sorry, I didn't notice that. But, uh, yeah. I mean, our cannon, our cannon will be more than enough. I'll spawn in the hummingbirds too. Hopefully our ship doesn't go nuts again and start like flying into the air for no apparent reason. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. But okay, it doesn't seem to be going crazy yet. Let's start heading in that general direction. My cannon 
forget what I set the range at. What was it, 700? 650 or something? <laughs> the dudes will probably be dead. Um, my hummingbirds will probably kill them before I even get there, to be perfectly honest. Um, really can't see much of anything. Yep, there's an explosion. <laughs> and we're not even firing, so I'm going to let my ship head this way. And there's one hummingbird. Where's the other? Up there? Oh, there it is. Okay. So yeah, it's a, it's what? One atlas? Really? That's all you guys had to send? Oh, come on now. Boom. Yeah, our cannon's not even f firing. This thing's just gonna die before, um, before we get there. Which kinda sucks. I think what I might do, actually, okay, yeah, see, so they're dead. <laughs> I think what I might do for these other guys is, um, spawn the Desolator in first, and then wait for the, the time of the, the countdown, and spawn the uh, Hummingbirds in afterwards, because otherwise, we're, uh, yeah, otherwise, we're never get, gonna get into the action, and wow, 93 strength? Uh, no thank you. That's really not what I want. Oh, so there's 93 and a 20 strength. Yeah, no thank you. We're getting kind of close. Uh, let's see here. Airborne, so we got boom, 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 boom. Obviously we won't get to all this in the this episode. I'll probably try to wipe out everything. Oh. Like all these little spots here off screen, but for next episode, and then we will go head this way. I don't know what's wrong with my missiles. If uh, someone doesn't know the answer, um, like if no one else does either, I might just have to put a quick laser on here or something in place of that to complement our cannon. I'm not sure. But. Yeah, okay, so... 13, strength 2. Nothing big, in fact, I'm just gonna spawn this guy in. I'm not gonna even bother with the hummingbirds at this point. I don't know where... oh. I'm telling you, man, my cannon better shoot. Um, I'm pretty sure we're in range. Cannon. Don't get us blown up here now. Seriously? Where'd you go? Okay, there we go. Oh, damn. Oh! Man, they are shoot- they're- damn, dudes! They're shooting through my windshield. They almost just like clocked me in the head with that. Yeah, that's what you get. Destruction. Total destruction. Was that an atlas too? I can't tell. I think so. Oh, well, it's not now. <laughs> I mean, that thing's pretty damn accurate. I think I could actually increase the range on it. It's what I could do. And he's dead. How about you? Um, probably not quite in range would be my guess. So, let's continue heading this way. I'll go a little bit more just so uh, I make sure we stay in range here. And dead. Just dead. <laughs> oh, how, how beautiful. Missiles, you're really starting to piss me off. Uh... Okay then, uh, let's see, where else can we move to? Let's pull all, I think I will go to this, wait, they're on land? Is that, is this land? Is, well, I'm sure they'll come meet me, so, who are they sending? The 20th Mercantile Navy, strength 40, but, uh, 
I think I'll take this out, and then I'll call it an episode. Hopefully get the missiles fixed before next episode. If myself and you guys can't figure it out, then maybe I'll just uh, throw a laser on there. And that'll kind of uh, uh, prepare us for this this guy anyway, the, their main base. Same with this, strength 47. That's a little bit stronger than we're used to, but I don't think it will be much of a problem. And yeah, so I could go meet them. I I don't know if I can take on a strength 40 with just my cannon. Strength 5. <laughs> oh my my poor friends. You're going to die very quickly. So, so very quickly. And we will uh, speed down time. Yeah, that made sense. Speed down time. Uh-huh. How about slow down? Whoops. Uh-oh. Slow down time. Um, what am I... What am I even... F I'm fighting like a viper, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> they sent, like, one viper. Uh... I don't... I think they sent this little dude on a suicide mission. I hope he knows what he's getting into. I mean, damn. I mean, that's like... Kamikaze right there. It'll probably take... One lucky shot from the cannon. Maybe two. Yep. Let's go watch this. Oh, well, there's one that hit. Two. Okay, it took more than I thought. I thought I'd actually hit his ammo. It's way in the back here, though, so... Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, wow, so we actually have 27,000 metal. I didn't notice that. I can do some more plating around here. That'll be really good. And, yeah, I think I'm going to call that an episode for now, guys. I'll get as much done as I can off-screen. Try to figure out those missiles, but... Yeah, if you know what's wrong with that, uh, please do let me know. Um... You know, so I'm not, um, you know, having useless missiles and acting like a derp. So, yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please uh, like and subscribe and all that stuff. It really helps out. But for now, I think I will see you guys next time. Take care.